Oh, man. All right, screw this. Voice on the line. Wouldn't have made it through Iraq without you. Yeah. I, I definitely I definitely thought that was gonna bounce back and squish me. Just doing my job. We're close. You might want to get your gear together for the drop. Oh, see right there, I definitely lost a little time. Oh, maybe not. Of course. Transflective screen, high res image, fast uplink. Don't worry, there's not going to be a test. Not true. I'll be testing it plenty in the field. State of the art. M4A1 carbine. Hmm. Bell tends to overheat. Other than that, a fine weapon. Hmm. M67. Standard issue frag grenades. Produces casualties within 15 minutes. Yeah, it's so weird. I don't know how I lost a second in that last one. You know me. I've got expensive tastes. <laughs> yeah, I really just want to cut four minutes here. Um, so I'm going to just be... I'm going to try to take things kind of like slow and steady. Um, I think I am going to go pick up the cache that's next to the uh, five of clubs. Or, I have no idea what number he is, actually. Your primary objective is to get to the I might not need it, Colonel Garrett is waiting for you. but, um, right. the road. yeah, it doesn't, it's, I think it's worth it. It doesn't take that long to get, and, uh, it saves a decent on bit of time on later on. Actually, you know what? I'm hearing reports of a dead hmm. shelling in the area. Like I'm, to the HQ, I'm not going to get it. Because I can't really imagine that it saves that much time. Because, like, how long does it really take to fly in the scout helicopter across like that river and use a cruise wow, missile strike versus using the bunker buster? Like, I, I can't imagine that's more than 20 seconds max, and it definitely is going to take more than 20 seconds to like land and get out of the Black Hawk and like, you know, collect all the cash and whatever, versus just flying straight to South Korea. Oh, I cut that really wide. Yeah. Like if it was a, if it was like a run ending risk or something, I'd be more inclined, but I just don't think it's that big of a risk. Perfect. 
I got it now that I have a pretty like optimized version of this starting like anti up. I should also probably figure out if I can do it faster with um bringing the Humvee up there and like running him over with a Humvee rather than capturing him. Um, in my like pseudo testing, it seemed like that was going to be slightly faster, but it was also a lot more difficult. This strat is like really really nice and consistent. I haven't had to. I don't even check my stats after that bit. Like, it's it's so reliable. That would have been a gold if I had walked out of the headquarter correctly. Uh, okay, where... Anybody? Does he have one? No, I'm probably going to have to go around the back. He doesn't have one either. Oh, he's got one. Oh, I missed. Missed pretty badly. Why can't I punch? Punch! You got mail from the Allies about that CIA operative working for the South Koreans. <clears throat> Alright. Not a great start, but... Double Humvee. Humvee. Yeah, they were uh, they were spawning in there like crazy. That's kind of weird. I think I might also start like seeing if I can. Now that I've got a more consistent like route for um, bait and switch, I think I'm gonna probably go back to just using the RPG at some point <clears throat> because. Me. It's like, like pretty big time sync to, and also I don't like, I just don't like dealing with the like the RNG of like where there's going to be a guy that has a tank launcher. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what you're referencing. <laughs> Come on. Did I get him? Yeah, probably got him. Yeah. Thanks for the free listening post. Late to the party today. What? What is going on? Oh, he's still in there. Oh, I thought because he stopped driving. I thought he was dead. Wow. I didn't really do myself any favors by making the morale as low as I did. Wow, this is this is a really bad stun the tide so far. But I'm also comparing against like a really good one, so. You know, it's not going to be great either way. Oh, is, is he stuck too? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> That's, yeah. 
there's actually nothing I can do about that. Like, that's like, if they, it happens pretty frequently that they get stuck there on the road. The game just like always spawns in a Jeep on the road right where they need to drive through. And for some reason they just give up. Like they don't try to like push the other one out of the way or drive around it or anything. They just totally stop. It's really weird. I think my gunner is also not as uh, proficient as some of the previous ones I've had. Oh, that was a double rainbow reference? Hmm. I don't remember there being a triple triple rainbow mentioned in that video. So I probably wouldn't have probably wouldn't have gotten the reference even if you had gotten it correctly. Alright, well that was bad. Wow, I'm already Oh my goodness, look how far ahead I am in my PB. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. How much did I have time save it on this at all? I think I did. Like, I, I'm, not, that's, I'm not even comparing against... I'm not even comparing against a gold. There's a way I could, uh, it could be a skip the uh, officer dialogue to save some time in this contract. I wonder if I. Oh, you know what I should do? I should take the. I should take the officer with me. If I just take him over here. Oh man. Bopped. That's but that's bad. All right. Okay. Also, I've thought about like the viability of. Do you think I could fly? I don't think the Blackhawk would fit in here. But I wonder if I could fit in here and winch this thing and, and carry it back. That would be pretty crazy if I could do that. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I wonder if I pick him up and carry him over here, if he'll essentially, like, despawn and that would skip his dialogue. His dialogue's, like, not super long, though, so it would have to be, like, I'd have to be able to pick him up really quickly or it wouldn't be worth it. That vehicle's actually not that heavy, though, and the, the, the Blackhawk's got pretty, it's pretty capable, like, lifting. The other thing I've considered is whether it'd be faster to just jump off of here and, like, go get a North Korean helicopter, like, on the road over there, rather than, like, waiting for this guy to land, and then I also need to, um, to, like, like drop this off again at the end. Oh! I didn't know you could. Did I just kill him? No? Okay. Um, he said good luck still. Like, anyway. Um, I didn't know you could hijack him. Like, I was just spamming Y just out of, like, habit. Um, interesting. Anyway. I was thinking it might be faster to just hijack a helicopter. Uh, even before... I could even hijack it before foothold. So then I'd have a faster helicopter to use there. That's probably worth messing around with a bit. See how viable that is. I think getting it right before a foothold would be pretty like a pretty good idea, because I could land the Blackhawk like right next to the road over here and then just like get out and hijack one real quick. Oh, that's pretty far. Hopefully that makes it nice. Oh, 50k on the ground right there? Hmm. That... yeah. 
it, it just really doesn't take that much time to use the cruise missile strike. You know, I don't know if it's like, oh, I could probably blow up some monuments. That's like $20,000 for each monument, right? Or even just pick up a few more collectibles. Like I could definitely, the collectibles are like, they give you all like, what do the National Treasures and Blueprints give you? 5,000 or 10,000? I know listening posts are 5,000. I could blow up a few listening posts here and there. Um, yeah, I think it's definitely doable without stopping for cash. I think I could blow up quite a few listening posts just by like flying around. You may enter. <laughs> a mercenary, violence for profit. The two hallmarks of Western ideology. Charming guy, really. Oh, I'm sure he'll warm right up once you get to know him. Yeah, I know I said I was gonna not save before playing the odds, but that's kind of dumb. I should definitely save before. If I'm only trying to cut four minutes, then there's really no reason not to save at least before bait and switch. Like I could get a listening post right here. Bop. I could get another one right here. Oh, I'm out of rockets. <laughs> and there's even, there's a few more that are like on the road here that I could get. Um, there's obviously the one right next to the Mafia headquarter. Like that's like $25,000 right there. Yeah, it's probably, it's worth routing at least, just to see. Looking for some extra cash, eh? Yeah, I definitely could have got them on the way over there. I just Forget wasn't things. thinking about it. Forget things. I'll explain. Oh, finally, looks like we're gonna gold this. Yay. It's, I realized, I was so confused, I was like, how am I losing time? It's just the, it's just the HQ dialogue, like, duh. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier. The HQ dialogue can definitely be like a four second difference or something. Never suspected a thing. Huh, I just realized something I could do that would still be safe and would save some time. I could winch the Jeep. Because once I initiate this guy running down the side of the train, I like to hover over him to like just make sure he keeps running, but I don't really need to. I'm pretty sure he runs the whole way without your, like, intervention. So I could get him to start running, then go winch the Jeep and, like, drop it off where I'm gonna subdue him. And then I could take the Jeep back, which would be a, a decent bit faster. So there's a little optimization there I can do. Uh-oh. Hopefully that doesn't run over my guys. Roger, this is Expo 2. I am in the air. Uh, I'm just gonna walk, actually. I don't really feel like... Hijacking and everything. I'm not really in a rush here. I've, I've had it happen where I go too fast and the uh, Black Hawk isn't um, like landed yet. So like that's obviously not ideal. Oh, this is kind of close here. Eh. 
Alright, this is looking pretty good, I think. This is a good setup. Nice. A well deserved gold right there. Sometimes you have to break a few eggs. I'm gonna just keep going with this, you know. I, I, I know this is like really risky and you know, it might, I might need to restart the run here, but like, I feel like I should be able to do this contract without killing any South Koreans, without like too much trouble, you know. So, I'm just gonna give it a go. Because I really don't like slowing down so much to like save and everything, having to go get my vehicle back and it's just kind of a hassle. I wonder if I flipped this over next to that APC, if that would be enough to to blow it up. It's not really worth me trying right now, but it would be if I could like get that to if I could practice that and get that down, that would be a nice little optimization. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good flips. Unfortunately the tanks are not engaged and it looks like there was an RPG guy up there, but I guess the IFE managed to kill him. Hopefully that Humvee will actually get some of the North Koreans a little more involved in the battle. That would be convenient. And get a quick exit. Whoops. Oh goodness. Yeah, that's that's rough. Really need to pay more attention to how I'm parking the the vehicle. get some health after I... Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna get health now. I'll let the tank deal with that IFV. I'm gonna get some health, just in case. I'm glad that the tank finally came out. I think the Humvee got him to come out, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna let that IFV move in, too. Let the tank deal with that one. I'll get the next one. And then we should be pretty much done with this contract. I don't want to accidentally run over these guys, so I'm being a little cautious here. There we go. Oh, there's a South Korean like right there. Um, if he can blow up that... Yes! Okay. Um, uh... Uh... I think I'm gonna flip a Humvee. I think I might be close enough now that I can flip a Humvee. Uh, well, maybe not, but... Maybe not. But this is... Pretty easy, so... It's a lot less stressful than... Trying to... If I could get it. There we go. Yeah, I think that should be good. Oh, not quite, not quite, not quite. Okay.
Nice. Dude, that was really, if, if I didn't kill anyone, that was amazing. Nice going. The South Koreans are retreating. Sergei sending. Nice. That was, that was super good. See, this is what I'm, I think, like, I'm, I'm really thinking that I can get to the point with this um, category that I'm not, like, obsessively saving and loading and checking my stats and everything. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna load, actually. And I'll just drive a Humvee over there. Or even better, I'll drive the press truck. And then I can maybe just splatter the guy. I might be able to just splatter him. Uh, well, so... Were there people... I didn't. I wasn't paying too much attention. Normally when you fly over the Humvees, the gunners get out. So, are you saying when I flew down there, there was already a driver and a gunner in? Because the gunners don't get out if there's a driver. Um, but I didn't know. I didn't know that one of them has a driver in it already. If that's true, then yeah, that's what I should do in the future. But um, individual, the individual soldiers like really don't do that much to the morale meter. I think like what I'm saying is I think even if I'd done that, I probably would have needed both Humvees anyway. But but it's possible possible that I could have done that. I don't know if I can even do this trick in the press truck. Yeah, no. That's alright. Let's just go around the side. I don't want to lose my disguise. It's not fast enough. I think I'm just gonna try to run this guy over. There's a number card nearby. Check your radar for the location. I think I've gotten better at doing these. Yeah, see. Like I think that's honestly like that's honestly easier than trying to do like hit him with a box or whatever. The box is like if if you can't if you can't get the feel for the side swipes, the boxes are like a nice backup strat because it's be a, it's way easier eye. to if you manage to hit them with the box, it's very unlikely that it's going to count as a kill unless you, like, dropped it on the guy vertically. So, like, that's nice, but the actual, like, dealing with the winch and trying to, like, get the winch to go in the right direction and everything is, like, really tricky, and I don't like having to deal with that if I can help it. Check your radar for the location. I want the tank to go by. Come on, tank. Get out of here. Or I guess I could park... Should I just park? Nah, let's just do this. Ooh, he's getting into the other tank. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even think about that. Let's see if we can get out of here. It'd be nice if we could. No, 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 no. Ooh, he shot too early, like a noob. <laughs> nice. Alright. Let me go ahead and check. Yep, we're good. Um, I'm gonna save, I think. Get a disguise first. It's pretty easy to get one down here, usually. The North Koreans have air superiority here. Huh. If you don't retreat, you'll be killed. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then I will save just in case, but I probably don't need to. There's a number card 
I'm definitely getting better at pressing the start button instead of B, which is good. Ooh, that, I'm very surprised, didn't count as a kill. That was very badly executed. <laughs> I had the altitude wrong and everything there. That was... Hmm. Yeah, I could definitely get that national treasure there. There's a bunch of collectibles I can get to be like increasing my my cash throughout the run. You here to look at some merchandise? Okay, now we can get something done, eh? And no one will know it was us. <sighs> I have some refinements to add to Sergei's offer. Watch for an email from me. Wow. Look at that time save. <laughs> That's crazy. He's so out of his league, he doesn't even realize. The real brains of their operation is Yosef. Well, I watch out for him, too. I'm forwarding you an email. Yosef is personally offering a bonus if you can finish this job quietly. Yosef just gave you access to a support item he thought you might find useful. I've identified the eyed <laughs> Looks no, like I don't want to put that kind of pressure on myself. I really just so want to cut four minutes. One. Like, I can I can improve this time later, if, uh, you know, but sub-145 is like my immediate goal. That one always cracks me up for some reason. I just, I just think it's hilarious how I just like fly in there with a truck of like unwitting mafia thugs and just, <laughs> just like run them all over. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Didn't mean to throw that pickup truck on top of you. Again, this isn't really, I mentioned this in the last round, it doesn't really matter if I don't, as long as I pick him up before he goes across the bridge, it's fine. Because I need to carry him over to this body of water anyway, so if he's going to drive over here for me, that's perfectly alright. Wow, this guy is playing a really good game of sumo right now. There we go. Yeah, that was that was the best Omerta I've ever had. That was really good. There's a number card nearby. Check your radar for the location. Okay. Um, park this back here. Oh, that was unlucky. I got hit by the tank blast right before I press the verify button. So now my health is like really low. Um, this crate might have some, I think I'm just gonna try to run. I could have gotten for that crate to get some health, but I'd rather just get out of here. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think I actually need to go for that helicopter to get extra health. I think I'm good with what I've got right now. Disguise, maybe? No? No disguise? This is actually a good spawn. There we go. I was going to say, this is a good spawn for that helicopter that's over there. Yeah, good. Oh, actually, I... Yeah, I actually do want this helicopter. Because, um... The second number card, I, I, I would like to keep the helicopter. Like, medivacking's probably a little bit faster, but then I gotta go hijack a helicopter on the road, and it's kind of a hassle. I'd rather just fly back and waste a little bit of time, but it's almost impossible to get away from the next, like, the second number card. I think he's the nine or something. It's, it's really hard to get away from him without getting destroyed by the, like, AA units that are in the area, so. Ooh, almost had him. See, like right there, I would have already been down to like 20, 20 something health. Would have been really bad. Oh wow, what a badly placed helicopter. Oh man, that actually could be bad. If that helicopter like comes down when I'm verifying the guy, he could easily blow up, blow up this guy with one shot, blow up my MD500. Oh, did I just replace him? Did I just despawn him and spawn in an MD500? Wow, all right, I'll take it. Oh, hold on, I should probably save. Uh, I gotta check. I'm, 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 no, it's not, but... This run's going pretty well, so it'd be stupid to lose it to a dumb... Clerical error, basically. Ooh. That was weird. Okay. I got blocked. My exit from the helicopter got blocked by his light machine gun, I'm pretty sure. Which is very, very weird. Um, okay, I'm gonna just get out of here and ignore that that ever happened. Support options are back online. That was really bizarre. Alright, I should check now so that I can save right away once I get to Mafia Headquarter. Okay. Alright, and now the plan is... Ooh, you know what I'm also gonna do? I got, I got an idea. I'm actually gonna go, since I'm not medivacking, it's actually gonna barely, like barely waste any time to just go get the three now. And by getting the three now, it's way safer for me to just save at Mafia Headquarter and then just go through Guns of Kirin Do um, because I cannot lose the run to Guns of Kirin Do because it's an ace contract. So I can just quit it if I accidentally kill anyone and it'll reset my stats. So I'll just get this guy now. And then be on my merry way. And I should probably still gold this, honestly. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that counted. All right. Wait a minute, I didn't save. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What a, what a rookie, rookie, stupid mistake. I didn't save because I, in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm going to save at Mafia headquarter. Very, very, very dumb right there. Wow. Not, it's not going to be like... The biggest, you know, time loss in the world, but that's get what? Sometimes, like, dude, that Jaju was like driving way faster than normal. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I still need to get the nine. Ugh, that was so dumb. Just like slipped my mind, you know. Uh, and there's a Humvee here too, of course. Driving like he's drunk. Wow. Very, 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 very bad. This is gonna really bite me here. The run's still like going great, but that was a very costly mistake. Now the question is, do I just do the Mafia contract since I'm already like way down here? Uh, nah, let's do it right. Let's go back. I, I'm gonna just do it right. I'm gonna go back, get the nine, get the three, go to Mafia, because that I think is the is the route for the future, like of these. 
wow. I feel so dumb. Because that would have basically been, that screw up there basically could have been like a, almost a non-time loss. Because like medivacking and going to Mafia HQ is like no big deal. Now it's going to be at least like two minutes or maybe even three minutes. Obviously, I want to save this time. I'm still debating, like, turning South Korea hostile now. Um, I might give that a shot, to be honest. Yeah, I might do that. Okay, I've got, yeah, I've got an idea. I'm going to give this a shot. All right, save. It didn't count. That was a, that was weird. I need to not get blown up by this guy. Okay. Yes, um, I did. But I have a new strategy. It was because in the neighborhood I'm going to get faction loss. But I think if I'm flying high enough, which I intend to do... It's not gonna. It's not gonna matter. Um, however, because that just happened. Oh, I don't have a. Ugh. Because that just happened, I'm not as inclined to do it. Because I was gonna be passing the South Korean headquarter from the three down there, but now I'm not gonna be passing him. So or passing it. So. Um, I don't know. That's still a pretty good idea. I could do it after it's who you know. Um, I'm gonna try it because it's 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 not like a high risk idea. It's it's a low risk idea, and it could save me. Um, it could say it could it could you know mean that I don't need to worry about money at all if it if it works. I, I might not need to worry about money. Why is he flying so high? What? I don't understand. Well, okay. I don't understand what that was. This is this is great, isn't it? If this guy could just fly his helicopter. I would already have been out of here by now. Hopefully this Jeep doesn't run me over. What is he doing? I don't understand. Just of course, you know. Gotta get a weird helicopter. Are there any over here?
I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm gonna blow up their headquarter on the way back from it to you know. And I'll bribe them to make it so that I'm actually 20 points above. And then that'll give me a little bit of leeway if like one or one of the buildings or even two of the buildings counts as a faction loss. Dealing with the press makes me nervous. Remember hmm. policy. Don't get caught. I don't know, should I? So like my plan in the neighborhood now is I'm gonna be bringing the ammo box with me. So I'm gonna be flying super high with the hind D and basically shooting um, from so far away that I don't think it's gonna cause a faction loss. And I don't know if that's true though. I, I would think that that's what's gonna happen. Just from like some of my practicing I did, like that's just kind of what I remember to be the case. But if I do get faction loss and I don't know exactly how much I got, then that could also backfire. Honestly, we're just never gonna watch it because she's not available. Yes, it's been a thing for like a month ago. Okay. And why did I just save my game? That's because I wasn't paying attention. I need the Mafia save, which I just got, and I just got rid of it for no reason. So now I gotta fly back to Mafia headquarters, save my game. Oh, and I forgot to bribe the South Koreans. <sighs>
I gotta go bribe the South Koreans, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Yeah, that just was like all around bad execution of this, that last Mafia contract just wasn't really paying attention. Should still be saving a decent bit of time here because in my last two runs I got two number cards during this uh, split. Um, so yeah, but uh, but I'll be going against the guns of Kirin Do. Is um, wait what? Oh, I have a minute to save because I fought an alley match. I was gonna be like. The gun, my guns of Kiri Doe was like perfect, so I don't know how I have any time to save there. Oh wait, hold on, I need to do this. I don't care what they're denying. You tell that Russian. Huh, only saved 30 seconds. Man, that, that's just because of all that nonsense with the uh, South Korean headquarter. Well, who thought? I also didn't realize in Act 1, or whatever, in the first half of the game, Southern Province, I didn't realize they have TOW missiles at the headquarter. I thought they only had a MG, MG Humvees. So, like, if I had known that, I also wouldn't have just, like, turned to them hostile like, so brazenly, right? Like, <laughs> the big chunk of that time loss was just the fact that they blew up my helicopter, which I wasn't expecting. Um, so in the future, I think I should... I, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that in the future. I'll have, to, I'll have to think about that a bit more. I mean, the idea might not even work. We'll see if it even works during this run. For a second, I thought the dumpster wasn't even going to spawn in. I was like, oh, that would just be my luck. Like, I can use... Technically, I can use anything for this next part, but, like... The dumpster's got, like, some of the best, uh... Handling characteristics, despite my not being able to land right now. Come on. If you're using, like, a, a Blackhawk or a uh, Hind D, the dumpster's, like, the perfect, uh item to like run people over with because it's really big and it's heavy enough that it doesn't like flop around a bunch um, but it's light enough that you can pretty much carry it at speed you know not lose any of your uh, your like helicopter handling That's wonderful. That's really bad. Oh, man. He's gonna get in this. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Oh, I got him. Ha! That was awesome. That was really, really lucky that he ran out that way. Wow. Nice. All right, we're good. Save. We dropped you into the Allied Bash unit in Kusong. You're about 100 miles north of your previous location. Before you head off after General Chul Kang and the rest of the Hearts, you may want to take some time and get your bearings. Best keep your mouth shut when you meet the boss. Не звонит мне обратно. Does that seem a little wigged out to you? You mean a little more wigged out? Yeah, big time. All right, finish the first half of the game in under an hour. That's uh, that's pretty good. Also, wow, I didn't realize how heavily slanted the run is toward the first half. Um, 
Because, like, what, we have, like, 40 minutes left or something? In theory? Like, assuming everything goes correctly? There's a number card nearby. Check your radar for the location. Should be ammo down here. Is it over here? Ah, there it is. There's also some blueprints I could get if that becomes a thing that I need. Your SNS signal's being jammed. Oh, wow, I'm still... Oh man, I'm still gonna lock onto things? Okay. I didn't think that was gonna be a problem. So I lost a little bit there, but I don't think that was from killing anyone. Okay, I'm just like within their view, I guess. Alright, so this didn't work. Um, let's see if I can pick up a blueprint somewhere to make up for that. I'll just keep an eye out for blueprints, because I'd rather not have to bribe them twice, which is what I'm going to need to do at the moment. check. I think we're good, though, yeah. Okay, so... Or I could blow up... Actually, I could just blow up the monument that's, like, right in front of their HQ, in case I can't find anything. Oh, I didn't save. That was dumb. My best friend, the uh, actually, this contract doesn't have a ton of risk of, like, killing people on accident. It's more of risk of just, like, messing up in general. Sergei didn't give us much lead time on this Piggy. one. It's about what I'd expect from him. No organization. The man is one step away from total chaos. You know what I think? What? Sergei's operating out of his league, and he's getting more paranoid as he expands his business. Should have a little bit of time to save here if I can pull off the warp correctly. Um, and then I've got seven minutes to save in one of the spade contracts. So this could still be under 130, but I find that I'm definitely I'm definitely doubtful of that because something's bound to go wrong. that I could probably get on. Oh, wait. I don't want to get anything during this contract because I'm warping out of this contract. Uh, I'm warping out of the next one, too. So the earliest I can start getting blueprints would be when I start going after the spades after I get out of hearts. And again, I can always just... I can just get the monument in front of their HQ. That'll be enough. Okay, that's everything. Drop it off, we've got a fat paycheck on the way. 
Perfect. Sergey's toys have been delivered. Mafia payment is en route to our account. Sergey isn't going to. I'm starting to wonder why Yosef. Looking for some extra cash, eh? Подумайте, уранием очень дорогой металл. Whoa, why am I saving so much time? Wow. I hear you. I can barely stand the guy, and I only have to deal with him in small doses. Oh no. Wow. I um, I don't know how the uh that Sam got caught in that fire. What? Oh, that was weird. And now this guy's not going to be able to give me a contract cuz I'm unfriendly with them. Ah, that's so so weird. I don't know how that got caught. In the fire. Also, I don't know why it didn't count. Oh, because it was on fire. Never mind. I was gonna say why didn't it count as a vehicle? Me blowing up the vehicle, but that's normal. Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, what am I supposed to do about that, right? All right, I'm gonna try to use this though if I can, if I can manage it. Oh wait. Looking for some extra cash. I don't know actually if I can even use this to be honest. I think I'm gonna have to go get a gunship. Because, or wait, can I even get it? Oh yeah, it's still hearts. I can still get a gunship. Um, I hear you. I can barely stand the guy, and I only have to deal with him in small doses. I, when I've tried C4ing this, I tried it one time when I C4ed it, and like, it was the only time I've ever had it happen where I didn't get a faction loss from blowing up the HQ. Um, and it happened twice in a row where I planted three C4, and then I finished it off with one anti-tank rocket at the end. And both times I did that, it was the only time that I'd had it where the Mafia headquarters, it, that didn't turn them hostile. So I think I actually kind of need a gunship, unless I, like, call in an ammo drop, two ammo drops, and use my handheld tank missile thing, like, eight times or something. I don't know. I gotta get this guy much further away, I guess. I really like pretty surprised by that though. Support options are back online. Roger, target. 
received. Bombs free. Nice, really good grab. That was like as what good as my last grab was. Um, yeah, my the gold I'm going against here is like stupid good though, so I'm not I'm definitely not going to be able to. Well, obviously with a restart, I'm not going to be able to gold it, but even still, even without that. I'm surprised I'm not already losing time. Oh, did I already? Wait, why did I split? Did I split? I split twice somewhere in accident. What? Oh. Okay, so maybe it has nothing to do with C4. Maybe it's just sometimes you just get unlucky. I don't know why that one didn't work. Oh, I didn't want to... Uh, crap. Um, let me see if I can just go in and out of the HQ. I, I accidentally pressed no to the contract. <clears throat> which means I can't get the other one started. Mm, still didn't work, so I literally need to start this one. This is the dumbest little glitch here. Alright, this time I'm gonna just try it with the transport helicopter though, I guess. Since apparently it doesn't even the Blackhawk isn't the or the whatever. The hind isn't the key. But I can't remember, is it Is it three C4 and then one anti-tank rocket? Can't even remember. I think that's right. I think it's C three C4. Game crashed. What? Yeah, dude, like, this is, like, classic, you know? I'm still, like, you know, I can still, uh... Something's wrong with my splits, though. I mean, look at it, I'm still doing... In the neighborhood... Anyway, um, I can still—I mean, I can still get the four-minute save that I'm looking for. Obviously, 130 is completely out of the question at this point, but. I mean, this has still been, like, a really good... I've only really made, like, one actual mistake, which was that, like, thing with the South Korean headquarter in the South, which I guess in the future that's not really going to be a strategy because apparently it didn't work. I don't know. Maybe I could blow up their headquarter during, um... During, uh... Stem the tide. You can barely stand the guy, and I only have to deal. And that would like get them unfriendly. So then I would only need like a little bit of massaging to get them. Oh, come on, get out of here. Nice. 
that's wonderful. Well, whatever. Let's at least test. See, look at that. It didn't count. You see what I'm saying? Like, why did that not count? Like, the C4 thing seems to be pretty consistently that it just doesn't work, and I, I don't know why. Which doesn't make any sense, because I'm still, like, finishing off the building the same way. I'm going to get the Blackhawk now. I'm going to do it the way that I normally do it, you know, even though it's going to take a little more time to go over here. I hate doing the C4 thing, too, because the civilians just always, like, they're so dumb. You know, they, like, run right at the explosions. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, one thing I really wish this game had, like, not just for speedruns, but for, like, casual play, like, they should have let you save a vehicle, you know? I really think that, like, I always hated that when I was a kid, I had to either, like, leave the place, if I had, like, the, if I had the vehicle I wanted, I had to decide whether to, like, just leave the console on for an inordinate amount of time if I didn't want to lose it, or, um, like, keep playing longer than I, like, wanted to, basically. I hear you. I can barely stand the guy, and I only have to deal with him in small doses. Oh, oops. Oh, good. I got a disguise. I wasn't even, like, paying attention to that. What? Who's shooting? Oh, I have a disguise. Why are they shooting anti-air rockets at me? I guess I like flew over those guys while I was still getting the disguise. I don't know. Who knows? Laser was struggling so hard to lock in. Wow, they drove really fast this time. Major, major deja vu right now. How did the, why did the first attempt fail again? I don't even remember what happened. Oh, did I just not, it just didn't count as a faction loss when I blew up the headquarters, was that it? I'm gonna see if I can actually get this guy out of my helicopter. Well, yeah, I think it's too late, whatever. Let him go. I'm worried that, like, him being around and initiating all the Mafia in combat might, like, mess things up, but I don't really think it does. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Alright, I got it. They all stopped talking. Nice. Okay. Okay, so let's go and check real quick. Yeah, we're good. Quit. Save. And let's get going. We still have seven minutes 
that we can save here. So I only need a, I only need a little bit of that, and I'll be pretty happy with this. So I really don't need to rush this at this point because there's no major milestone. I'm not going to get the 130 here, um, and getting the 145 is should be like not easy, but you know as long as I don't make any major mistakes, it shouldn't be too hard. Trying to think of some easy blueprints I can pick up while I'm at it. Oh, that's right. The first time, that's right. The first one, the bunker buster killed. That was lame. I need to get them going uphill, it's a lot easier. I'm not even gonna check my stats unless I like lose my disguise trying to get any of these guys. Because I can just I can pretty much assume that I didn't kill anyone otherwise. One over here too. You're back in the South Korea. All right, good, just like that, we're good. Disguise, please. There we go. Oh, why am I? I just said I wasn't gonna check my stats, and there I am checking my stats. over here and we'll go for the last one force a habit I guess it's not too bad to just clear those out I'm probably gonna have to check my stats at some point so clear out those uh, marks of like getting the cards. Come on, go uphill. There we go. Nice. AA over there. Check your radar for the 
Those were good. Those were all really good. Uh, I thought my gold was going to be really hard to beat, but I actually think I might be beating it right now. As long as, uh, what do I need to do? I don't need to do anything in South Korea. Ha! Dude, I just realized something. Um, all of this, like, meddling with South Korea's mood and all of this, it's totally pointless. Um, and that bribe cost me money that is important. Um, so I did have a reason, you know, you mentioned, oh, there's a reason you don't turn them hostile before, and that's true. Um, but, uh, oh, by the way, I'm going to go get the two Southern number cards now, right? I should get them now, because they're, like, more on the way now than they will be later on. Um, anyway. So. Hold on, let me focus here. Basically, what I, the, the first contract I'm going to do is going to bump up their mood, is the long and short of what I'm going to say. Um, so it doesn't matter, like, I'm going to do the first contract for them without warping. So, like, it doesn't matter what mood I'm at. See, so I'm gonna save real quick. I don't know if I already. Oh no, I definitely didn't. really smart okay um, all right I'm actually you know what screw this I'm gonna go to South Korea I don't I don't this is too low of health I'm gonna go do their first contract and then I'll get that last number card once I finish it because I, I don't have I don't have enough health to go get that uh, that number card right now Wow, am I still gonna gold this even though I got an extra number card? Man, I ought to kick your ass from here to Seoul. I'm trying to do something. That would be weird. Because I thought I did it really well last time. Wow, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, they are they are hostile toward me. That's interesting. That happens sometimes, but like it's kind of unusual. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Um, debating whether I care or not. It would be bad if I brought back the spy and they blew me up. But I also don't know if it's worth the effort of like picking up a blueprint. Um, there is one right next to the number card I'm getting, but it's kind of like under a... It's kind of hard to get to. Huh, will the spy be hostile? That's a great question. Uh, okay, yeah, good point. Let's just get a blueprint here then. There's one over here. Or no, is that a national treasure? That's a national treasure. Crap. Um, well, okay, let's just get the one next to the number card. It's, it's not going to be that bad to get. I'll just, I'll just winch it. Well, I'd hope so, you know, they're currently paying me to do a contract right now, but... Oh, how is that not... There we go. Yeah, you're right, the spy would have been hostile. He wouldn't have gotten into my vehicle. That would have been a disaster. And the problem is, like, once the, like... Once the NPCs register you as hostile, sometimes it can be really tough, even if you, you know, if you bribe them or if you 
whatever, turn them neutral again using cheats or whatever, um, they, they don't usually reset their mood toward you until they, like, you know, despawn and respawn, basically. I don't know how much money I have. I wanted to get that listening post for an extra 5,000, but I didn't want to risk accidentally killing killing anybody. Oh, there's a yeah, really easy blueprint I could have gotten in this battlefield area. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't matter, because, again, the spy wouldn't have gotten in. Uh, yeah, I think I did that pretty much the best, best way I could have. good before I continue. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Um, Alright, how much money do I have? Ooh. No, 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 I don't want to enter the... I wanted to get into my helicopter. Okay. Um, 50,000. Oh, no, I'm not going to have enough even if I do get that number card. Okay, so I'll just... I'll just keep going. That's fine. I was going to go get the number card. Uh, I was going to go get the number card before starting this, so I don't need to get it during the last contract, but um, it's not it's not that bad to get like that num one number card during the final contract. It's not It's not that stressful, so... It's, it's really the 10 that's like kind of a pain because it's got all the Sam turrets around it. Or she has whatever. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Pay attention. Pay attention. Come on. Oh, there's that. I need to be able, I need to get better at thinking on my feet. Like, okay, so I just missed her. But there's other South Koreans. There's a ton on this battlefield here that I could pick up. You know, like I definitely did not need to like double back there. There's so many down here that I could pick up. But whatever. Yeah, I'm still I'm still really even though like I got completely messed up during the, the King of uh Hearts, like I'm still really happy with this run. This has been the first like pacifist run I've been do I've done since like I started doing these this week that I've actually been like I feel good about how like I've done basically. I, their mood just went up, cause I, I think I killed somebody on the bridge. I think I killed a Chinese on the like Chinese soldier on the bridge or something. What? The game is broken. What? I'm completely soft locked. I can't do anything. I'm pressing every button. Okay, so the game just crashed, kind of. <sighs> we can still save the four minutes, but that is proof that the cruise missile strike is dangerous. You know, I the only reason their mood would have been raised there is if that missile hit and killed a Chinese soldier. You know, so um, we I, I do want to figure out how to get the bunker buster bomb then because that that has now become like a critical I thought there wasn't really much risk of that because it hasn't happened yet and I thought maybe like when I'm in the cutscene basically of subduing her 
that no vehicles will be able to get damaged. But, all right, so I'm actually going to, oh, that was kind of dumb. No, yeah, because I, I need to get a helicopter, so. We can still, we can still get this. We can still get the, the 145. We're still definitely within that territory. All I need to do is, um, I'm going to go get the number card now, so I don't need to worry about it later. And, uh, and then just do that contract without, without getting totally screwed over. Oh, you know what, though? I still need to turn the South Koreans hostile. Um, I need to remember to do that. They're, I haven't even bribed them yet in this. Like, I saved before I blew up the HQ. Ooh, there's a blueprint right there. Get some, get some cash. I need to get a disguise somehow. It's gonna be tricky. I don't know if I might need to. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna need to fly like way over here. Yeah, this has been a very like I've gotten really bad luck in this run, but all my gameplay has been pretty good. So like that's that's like I'm I'm happy with that. Oh, they're only 3k? <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. The listening posts are worth- I guess that makes sense. The listening posts are actually more rare, and you have to destroy them versus, like, you just pick up a blueprint. It's, oh, there's one right there I can get. How much cash do I have? Oh, I still don't have enough, so all this, like, money grubbing is not doing me any favors. Damn. That's unfortunate. Okay, so... Let me go ahead and check my stats real quick. I think we're good. Yep. And then go and save here again. So, I think they're all. I think they're always all worth the same throughout the entirety of the game. I could have gotten twenty k from. I still don't think. Yeah, I wouldn't have had enough. I was gonna say I could have gotten twenty k from blowing up the monument there. But that still wouldn't have been enough. You know, I just don't. I just don't have enough. Um, if I hadn't bribed South Korea, if I, yeah, I spent a hundred thousand dollars bribing South Korea in the. Dude, that really, that really messed me up in the long term. That was a really dumb decision. That wasted a ton of time in the moment. Again, that's like the only real mistake I've made this whole run. Um, I wasted a ton of time in the moment because I lost my helicopter. And it wasted $100,000, which would have been enough to get this bomb. That was a big mistake. Or I should say it was a costly mistake. It was, a, it was a reasonable mistake to make, but it cost me a lot. I'm gonna see if I can like call this in on one of the support pillars or something. Maybe then it won't directly strike anyone. Also, ooh, if I face this way. No, I gotta be looking. I, it missed! I can afford it. Oh my goodness. I can just barely afford it. 
cool. <laughs> How did it miss? What? Zero. Did I have exactly the amount of money? That, that, that can't be a coincidence. No, oh, it's not going to work. It's too late. It was too late. She walked away from me. It's too late. It's too late. Wow, it's too late. Ugh. Ugh. That, I think that's it. I, I don't think I can save the four minutes anymore. I needed that. I, I needed that. I think that's that. I mean, I'm, I'm still going to record, I think. No, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I... My gold is not even that... Because I already got the two number cards I needed. Right? Like, I already got the two number cards that are during the contract. So... So my gold, like, my gold gets both those number cards. So I don't need to get them anymore. That's at least... That's like, what the... Why is the tank on top of... <laughs> that was weird. I think we can still do this. I think it's gonna be close, but I, I think I think it's I think it's still possible. Dude, there's no way the exact money is a coincidence. Do they just charge you what you have, basically? If that's if that's exactly how much it actually costs, then that needs to be like recorded in the history of Merc speedrunning forever, because that's insane. I don't have time to check my stats. I just gotta run through this and do it as fast as I can. I'm sure Colonel Payne is pretty happy about it too. Also, in the future, uh, I didn't need to medivac, like on that restart at South Korea. I medivac to go get a helicopter. I didn't actually need to do that. There's um, there's three MD500s near the two of spades that I could have gotten by just driving down the road, which would have been faster, I think. And then I would have been really close to the nine. So, oh well, next time. Guess he wasn't at the nuclear plant. Right, let me get this Jeep here. So I don't need to get one later. guy. Nice. Alright. Uh. <laughs> I'm not checking my stats. I'm just going. I gotta go as fast as I can here. Alright. Uh. Not great Humvee RNG, but not terrible. Okay. Hey. Oh yeah, we can definitely still do this. The last contract takes me four minutes. So I've got a minute to spare. Good news, you're cleared for song. Four and a half minutes. It's gonna be really close. Wow, it's gonna be really, really close. I golded it too, so I'm gonna have to have a really good ace of ace of spades here. Oh, I didn't. Uh, crap. Okay, I'm gonna at least get him out of the tank. I'm gonna get him out of the tank. I was pressing the wrong button. I thought I pressed Y. I don't want him to be able to witness me. Like, I, I don't want to ruin my disguise, basically.
I didn't get a speed boost. That sucks. Ah, oh, that's really, that's lame. That's gonna cost me some time. I don't know, man. This is gonna be really close. Oh, I didn't get a speed burst there either. Wow, okay. Twenty-six seconds to work with. I think I just lost at least... I'm probably close to ten seconds there with no speed burst. Well, no, probably five seconds with no speed burst. So I've got twenty seconds left to play with. Lose the Jeep. I didn't lose the Jeep. Oh. Okay. Didn't lose the Jeep. Oh, that's great. Okay, I think we're good. I think we got this. Oh, I guess I could always, like, save some time by not saving the world here, but that would feel cheap. So close. Wow, we got it. We got it. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Woo. All right, now I need to, I got to check. I have to check actually my kills. I honestly like, I'm pretty sure that I got it, you know, but, um, yeah. Dude, two game crashes. I mean, th this is, is going to be under 130 in no time. I, I'm definitely going to just keep running this category, I think, until I get it under 130. Because, like, I'm, I'm close. You know, there was some really random nonsense that happened in this run that prevented it. Um, but I only, you know, I'm getting to the point where, like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting really good at these, like, fake kills, basically. Um, the only mistake I made, which compounded in a pretty nasty way, was the South Korean bribe. If I hadn't done that, I would have had enough money for the bunker buster bomb, and then the cruise missile strike warp would have warped, like wouldn't have happened. Like those two, I failed that warp twice, right? And then like the obviously I got a, really messed up during the King of Spades, so I'll just be more cautious with the Sam Turtle in the future. Like move the Sam Turtle a lot further away from the building. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I guess I'll do a little bit of a recap since we got to wait for the new game to start anyway. Um, first split was great. The only reason it wasn't a gold was because I <laughs> somehow managed to like mess up walking out of the headquarter. So that was like half a second that I lost there or something. Um, this was 
fine. Oh, I had it took a long time to get the anti-tank rockets. I don't know. What do you so? What do you think at this point? Should I? I definitely. Ooh, 115. That's 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 a big improvement. Um, the last like two rounds were both in the or, like low 120s. I think. Cool. All right. Um, continue. Yeah. Oh my god. Turn, turn the volume down. So, um, I, I definitely would have failed the bait and switch warp if I had had an RPG during this run because a ton of civilians spawned in there. So, like, I'm, I'm still kind of on the fence about it, but, like, it seems like I might just need to do the anti-tank rockets or missiles to, like, really, um... To make it where I'm not just completely depending on RNG, you know. Um, if I get good enough, like, I could maybe, like, consistently shoot the top of the garage and then not, like, worry about it, but it's definitely kind of sketchy. Um, I might, during my next run, I might, I might try using an RPG. Like, I might practice it a little bit, but, like, I, I might not even practice them. I might just wing it and see how it goes, because it's only, like, 16 minutes to get to that first uh, part, so, um, anyway, um, Sam the Tide was terrible, huge time loss there, uh, these two are always fine, pretty much, um, got, I golded the warp, the warp went exactly like his plan, basically, um, and then I didn't even save my game. I just went right into playing the odds. And playing the odds was, like, amazing. Um, that was, like, I think I could probably beat that gold just because the number cards didn't go super smoothly. Like, I blew up. I had to, I had to medivac or load my game or something on the first number card. And I think I had to do it again. Um, anyway, so, yeah, that, that could have gone better. But um, still, still really good. Omerto was like perfect, but I lost time because I didn't save my game before I went to go for the three, and then I messed up the three twice, I think, actually. So, um, otherwise that, that was like the best Omerta, but the number cards after it weren't great. Uh, this was a fake gold. This one was just because I didn't go after any number cards. Like, I just got the guy, and then I did all the South Korea nonsense that, like, lost me a bunch of time, and then I went to the... So I, I could definitely lower that one by quite a bit. All right, let's see. Looks like we're good. Yay. We did it. Under 145. Huh. I got one more special bonus this time than I normally get. That's weird. Oh, I bet... Well... No, I don't know, actually. Oh, it's because I didn't warp out of in the... No, I did warp out of in the neighborhood. I have no idea. I have no idea why I got an extra special bonus. It's probably because I failed a warp somewhere. Um, cool. Well, let's see, what else? Guns of Kirin Doe was, was... I had a really clutch save there that was about to be a reset, and then I like got him when I had like 30 or 40 health left in the Blackhawk. Uh, this was good. Um, I liked the new strategy of like flying high and using the anti-tank missiles um it's not like super fast it's, it's probably actually a little bit slower i could i could actually i could probably do that and fly a little lower um i only need i think i might go back to using one dumb fire rocket and then two missiles so i could i could come to the first building do dumb fire missile missile take the ammo and then do dumb fire missile missile on all the other buildings and like fly low and do that quickly and and play that pretty safe uh, I was flying high to try to avoid the, the faction loss, which didn't even work, so. Uh, this was perfect. This is textbook, basically. The uh, delivery, whatever, the 106 miles to Shinuiju. That was, like, perfect. This one was an absolute mess. Not my fault, though. <laughs> um, obviously, it's my fault that the sand turret was too close to the explosion, I guess. But otherwise, that was, like, you know, nothing really I could have done about all that time loss. Uh, golded this one, even though I got an extra number card, which, in the future, I think... Hold on, let me pull up the map real quick. I think it might make sense to...
I think in the future, so I spawn here at Mafia HQ because I warp out of their contract. So I think it probably makes sense in the future to do seven, six, three, or maybe seven, three, six. I actually liked doing seven, three, six this time because I like the way the disguise, like how I got the disguises. Um, so seven, three, six, I suppose five and then four, or either way, it doesn't really matter. And then I go down to get 10, nine, right? Rather than going straight to uh, SKHQ. Cause like the line from, like let's say I get the four and I go to SKHQ, the line, like the diversion to go down and get 10 and nine, it's like, that's barely anything. It's barely any time at all. And then I don't need to get those number cards in the middle of a contract, which is a big benefit. And I get the cash from, you know, verifying them. So I think I'll get all the number cards except for the eight at the start of spades. Um, yeah, so that's my new plan, I think. Um, Chinese Cody was great. I'm actually a little surprised I didn't gold that because I got the number card really quickly and then I got the spy and like, I don't know. That was kind of weird. Uh, this one was a mess, just like, not my fault. This is a cruise missile strike. In the future, we're, I'm gonna be using the bunker buster bomb. So I'm gonna make sure that I have enough cash to use it and that's gonna be the way to do it. Uh, this was a fake gold because I've never done that contract without any number cards. And then this was really good. Only 3.5 seconds over gold. Um, and that is, that is actually, I think all of that and some is from the speed burst that I lost. Um, but I also stunned myself while disarming the missiles and that wasted like probably two seconds. So that, that would have been a gold, um, like just on the rest of my gameplay there. So... Awesome. Really happy with that run. I think I'm finally going to like, oh, oops. Um, finally going to like actually try to upload some of this stuff. But I'll keep doing pacifist runs until I get to 1.30, I think. Which is crazy, dude. A one hour and 30 minute pacifist run. Like what? How? This run started as like five and a half hours. So anyway, thanks for watching.